Hello, I'm Maren. We're here today at the Calthorpe Project in King's Cross to plant some apple trees um, to provide an ongoing source of fresh fruit to people in this area of Camden. We're planting today, it's about the middle of March, which is about the latest time in the year that you'd want to plant fruit trees. The best time is to plant when they're dormant. And we use bare root trees like this one. Um, which have been dug up out of the ground at the nursery where they've grown in the soil and their roots have been able to develop in a natural way. It's quite important when you're working with a bare root tree to keep it covered so that the roots don't dry out um, too much before you get it into the soil. Here we've got an area that's quite open to the sky. It's south facing so there'll be lots of sunlight and we're not being shaded out by any big trees. So we're going to plant an apple tree in this space here and in preparation we've cleared some of the weeds away taken out big rocks that were in the soil and just made a nice clear space for the tree to have good establishment. If you're planting into a lawn it's not required, it's not necessary to remove all of the grass around the tree but if you take about a square foot um, of grass away from where the tree will be planted, where the hole is going to be, then that will just give the tree a bit of room to get established and the roots to start to grow. When digging the planting hole you want it to be just bigger than the root ball of the tree that you're planting. So the root ball we've got here is quite small. I'm going to dig a hole just um, under a foot wide. You can see on the tree here there's a darker line where the soil line was at the nursery. Um, the tree will be quicker to establish if it's maintained at the same level. We're not putting compost in the soil um, in the hole here because we want to encourage the roots to grow out beyond the hole and get well established. If there's compost in the hole, then they're quite comfortable and they're happy to just circle around in this hole here. It's quite important that the tree remains growing straight, so we'll get Sandra to just hold the tree up right there um, so that as we're placing soil around the roots, the tree doesn't move around too much. So as you backfill the soil, just pressing it in gently with your fingers to make sure there's no air pockets around the roots. Um, not too hard. If the soil is compacted too much, water won't be able to access. So just pressing it in nice and gently with your hands. So the trees planted nice and firmly in the hole, standing quite upright. And we're going to mulch around the tree just to provide a really rich um, growing environment for the tree and the roots to establish. Placing mulch on the, around the soil will build a really rich, beautiful humus soil from the top down as it rots away into the soil, adding nutrients for the tree to take up. Starting with this biodegradable hemp mat, which will prevent any weeds or grass growing up um, in the early life of the tree. So a nice thick layer of mulch around the tree, about three to four inches thick helps to keep moisture in the soil, helps to keep the weeds down and will just provide ongoing nutrients for the tree to grow in. When you're putting the mulch around the tree, make sure you leave what we call a tree donut around the trunk. Um, if the mulch comes up too high against the trunk of the tree, you have a risk of um, damp and rot forming on the trunk. Trees will manage okay if there's some rubble and small stones in the soil, the roots will find a way around those stones. If you've got large paving slabs or large bricks like these ones, it's best to take them out. The other thing to watch out for is to make sure that you don't plant the tree below the graft union. So fruit trees are made up of a rootstock and a scion that's grafted together in the nursery. And it's important to keep that graft union above the ground level to prevent the scion or the apple variety that you've chosen from rooting down into the soil. The reason we've chosen this particular rootstock is to ensure that in this environment with people around and buildings that the tree doesn't grow too big. The stake is low down and at an angle to reduce the amount of the tree that comes in contact with the post and might over time rub up and cause damage to the trunk. And finally we've put a rubber band in a figure of eight around the trunk of the tree attaching it to the post but having that barrier of rubber in between the post and the trunk will just provide a bit of extra protection for the tree.